Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on simulating flow in a lead driven cavity using open foam. In this tutorial, I will show you the lead driven cavity file structure, meshing the geometry, solving and post processing results in Paraview, plotting and validating results on a spreadsheet. To record this tutorial, I am using Linux operating system Ubuntu version 10.04, open foam version 2.1.0. Paraview version 3.12.0 Lead driven cavity is the most widely used two dimensional test case for validation of a CFD code. This is the diagram of the lead driven cavity. The boundary conditions remain the same. A moving wall and three fixed walls. We are solving this for a Reynolds number RE equal to 100. The moving wall has a velocity of 1 meters per second. The path for the lead driven cavity is the same as discussed in the installation tutorial. Now open a command terminal. To do this, press Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. In the command terminal, type the path for the lead driven cavity. Now type run and press enter. CD space tutorials and press enter. CD space incompressible and press enter. CD space icofoam. Note that F here is capital and press enter. CD space cavity and press enter. Now type LS and press enter. In the file structure of cavity, you will see three folders 0, constant, and system. Now type CD space constant and press enter. Now type LS and press enter. The constant folder contains another folder named polymesh and a file describing the physical properties of fluid. Now type cd space polymesh and press enter. Polymesh contains a file named blockmeshdict. Now type ls and press enter. You can see blockmeshdict. To open up the blockmeshdict file, type gedit space blockmeshdict. Note that mnder capital now press enter. This will open up the block mesh dict file. Let me drag this to the capture area. This contains coordinates for the lead driven cavity, blocking and meshing parameters and boundary patches. Since there are no arcs as well as no patches to be merged, edges and merge patch pairs can be kept empty. Now close this. In the command terminal, type cd space dot dot and press enter. Do this twice. You will come back to the cavity folder. Now type cd space system and press enter. Now type ls and press enter. This contains three files control dict, fv schemes, and fv solution. Control dict contains Control parameters for start and end time. FV solution contains discretization schemes used in runtime. And FV schemes contains equation for solvers, tolerance, etc. Now, again type cd space dot dot and press enter. Now type cd space zero and press enter. Now type ls and press enter. This contains the initial value for boundary conditions like pressure, velocity, temperature, etc. Now type cd space dot dot to return back to the cavity folder. Now we need to mesh the geometry. We are using a coarse mesh here. Mesh the geometry by typing block mesh in the terminal. Now type block mesh. Note that M here is capital and press enter. The meshing is done. If there are some errors in the block mesh file, it will be shown in the terminal. To view the geometry, type paraform. Note that F here is capital and press enter. This will open the paraview window. Now, on the left hand side of object inspector menu, click on apply. You can see the lid driven cavity geometry. Now, close this. 
check the mesh by typing check mesh in the terminal. Note that MR is capital and press enter. You can see the number of cells, skewness and other parameters which are associated with the mesh. Let me switch back to the slides. The solver we are using here is IcoFoam. IcoFoam is a transient solver for incompressible flow of Newtonian fluids. Let me switch back to the terminal. In the terminal, type IcoFoam. Note that FR is capital and press enter. The iterations running will be seen in the terminal window. After the solving is done, type Parafoam in the terminal to view the geometry and the results. On the left hand side of object inspector menu, click on apply. Now scroll down the properties in object inspector menu. You can see mesh parts, volume field, etc. Check or uncheck these boxes in the mesh part to view the different boundary regions of the lid driven cavity. Now after this on top of the left hand side on active variable control drop down menu, change this from solid color to P or capital U which are the initial condition such as pressure velocity. I will select capital U. Now this will show you the initial condition of velocity on the top of the paraview window you will see the VCR control. Click on the play button. Now this is the final result of velocity for lead driven cavity. Toggle on the color legend by clicking on the top left of the active variable control menu. This is the color legend for the U velocity. We need to validate the results obtained. To do this, let us plot the U and V velocity. To this, go to filters, scroll down, data analysis, plot over line. Click on it. You can see X, Y and Z axis. Select the X and the Y axis turn by turn. I will select the X axis and click apply. You can see pressure and velocity plots being plotted. Since it is a non-dimensional analysis, we need to plot the graph for U by capital U versus Y by capital L for Reynolds number equal to 100. To do this, in plot data, click on the Y axis and click apply. You can see the plot. Now in menu bar, go to file. Save data, give appropriate name to your file, I will give this as cavity. The file will be saved as a .csv file. Now click OK, again click OK, now go to the cavity folder of the open form directory. Scroll down, you can see the cavity.csv file. Open it in OpenOffice or LibreOffice spreadsheet. In the LibreOffice spreadsheet, copy the U0 and to the right, point one columns in another spreadsheet. Now, divide both these columns, that is U0 by capital U and points one by capital L and plot the results in LibreOffice chart option on top in the menu bar. Now let me switch back to the slides. The results obtained will be similar to this figure. Validate the results on a paper published on lead driven cavity by Ghia et al and results obtained from Fluent. In this tutorial we learned file structure of lead driven cavity, salt lead driven cavity, post processing of solution and validation. As an assignment, change some parameters in the lead driven cavity. Velocity magnitude in the zero folder, kinematic viscosity in transport properties in constant folder and plot results of U by capital U versus Y by capital L. Watch the video available at this URL. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. 
If you do not have a good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshop using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this URL. This is Rahul Joshi from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.